Hello everyone, welcome to another video, another topic on Alpha Web Tips. In this video, I want to show you how you can make your blogger custom domain name or custom domain or your blog on blogger.com blogger or blogspot that you are using a custom domain name on to open on Glue Network. It happens that if you have your if you have a blogger account and it is connected or you already mapped your custom domain name to it it will naturally not open on glow network uh, it means if 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 thousands of your users are using glow network if they are from nigeria and they are using glow network it means they will not have access they will not be able to view your blog so in this video, I want to show you how you can make your blog open on Glow Network. We really don't know how that happens, but we know we know about how to find a solution to that. My name is Dapo Bimbi, and I welcome you once again. So that being said, let's get started. Now, to make your blog open on Glow Network, there are some things you need to do. And as you can see, I'm currently using Glow and I'm unable to view this westdigi.com that is on blogger.com. Now, to make it open, you need to do something. You need to open uh, a Cloudflare account, Cloudflare account, and then Cloudflare is a CDN, Content Delivery Network. And then you need to change the domain name server of your domain name registrar of hosting account to that of Cloudflare. So when you do that, you need to create some rules in your Cloudflare. So by doing that, that will enable you to, you know, let your users that are using Glow be able to assess your blog so that they won't be seeing messages like this. If I switch to another network, maybe MTN or ITE, I'll be able to view this blog. But presently, I will not be able to do that because I'm using Glow. All right. Now, to get started, when you go back to your Blogger account, blogger.com account or your Blogspot dashboard, you scroll down. You already see in the settings. When you're in the settings, you scroll down. You can make sure your HTTPS or HTTP direct is turned on before you add your blog to Cloudflare. I repeat, make sure your HTTPS in your blogger dashboard is turned on before you add your blog to Cloudflare. And then when that is achieved and your custom domain name is connected, you need to go to Cloudflare. Now you go to Cloudflare, already register this account, so I just want to get started now. Now, you click on add sites. If you are using a free account, you can only add one website. But if you are using more than, if you can afford, you can afford Cloudflare plans, you can go for it so that you can use multiple websites. Now, when you click on add sites, you just put in the domain name you want to connect and then you click on add all right you do not need to put www now that you did that it is not done yet so you need to select a free account Click on free, then click on continue. All right, it will, Cloudflare will scan the DNS record of your domain name and then automatically detect the domain name registrar you are using. All right, so when that is done, you click on continue again. And then the instruction now says you need to point it, you know, change the DNS of your domain to that of Cloudflare. 
and all you need to do is just, just add these three two domain name servers to your Cloudflare. And then to your domain name registrar, sorry. Then, like I said earlier in the video, we are talked about how you can connect or map your Google's domain name to Blogger account. If you don't remember, there's a link in the description of this video. If you want to know how you can map your, you know, your domain name from Google's or from any domain name registrar to your Blogger account. Now we need to change. This is what we are changing. This, this, and this. We want to change it to that of Cloudflare. Right, and the first one is this copy it, come here. This is for the first one, and second one, you copy it again, you go back, and then when you do that, you click on save changes. now that is changed you know sometimes it, it will take some minutes to hour before the dns propagation is set so when you do that just click on done check name servers it won't be checked immediately but you know you just keep following the steps you know the wizard setup that's provided by cloudflare now you click on get started. All right. When you come to your automatic HTTP rewrite, save it. Always use HTTPS. Yes, you want your website or your blog to be seen as secured. Always use that. Okay. For your, you know, for your blog speed, you need to make sure JavaScript, CSS, and HTML are checked. That one is checked, CSS is checked, HTML is checked. Then you click on save again. Now for the Brutally already checked, you click on save. All right, everything on, click on finish. You are not done, you are not done yet. You are not done yet. Now you need to, you know, you need to work on this step by step okay you need to go over these step by step you can check the analysis of this website i'm not going to cut or edit this video so you can see everything at once so instead of you paying for this to be done for you you can actually do it yourself okay there's no analysis there okay Go to security. There's nothing to be done. Go to performance. Okay, this will give you performance of your website. All right, we go to the DNS. This is where you see the DNS of your site. Let's give it some seconds to load. Alright, let's not keep waiting for that. Okay, if you go to this DNS again. Alright, this is the DNS of that particular website or domain name right so if you need in future maybe when you want to connect your want to add your blog to google search console you may be asked to add tst record so you can just come back to your cloudflare account you're not going to your domain name come to your cloudflare account then you create the tst record here right and you do that and leave it for some minutes to be checked then there's nothing to be done here this place is just to show you your the dns record of your domain name and if you in future want to add one or two records to your blog or your website okay 
and click on SSH TLS. Okay, make sure it is in full. All right, make sure it is in the full. Then make sure the SSL TLS recommender is checked. When that is done, you go to the next option. Right, there's nothing to be done here. You can go to the security. Right, this will just give you the overview of your blog security. Okay, now we'll be going to where you need to, where you'll be creating, you know, page rules now. But you need to check the speed of your website. Okay, you can analyze. You know, the speed could not run because your blog has not been connected. All right, this is where you can analyze your blog speed. Okay, this is because it has not been connected properly. When it is connected properly, you can analyze your blog speed here. All right, then you can go to the rules. We need to create one rule. All right, we are creating just one rule. And then you click on create page rule. This is the most important part. So just enter www dot your domain name. Slash asterisk. Okay, we need to create. We need to create. You know. Three of these. Click level. Make it standard. I hope you following level standard then SSL full auto minify you can select this but we already done it so you don't need that here security level medium Right, what else what else do you need to do? Okay, it's done. It's done what you need to do for this domain. Don't forget cake level SSL security level. Then cake level is being standard, SSL will be full. The security level will be medium. Then you click on save and deploy page rule. And don't forget, your changes will not take effect immediately. So when you are done with everything, you need to give it time for the change to be globally propagated. All right? So that's all you need to do. So every other thing does not affect people using Glow or not. Now you can go back to the overview. When you go back to the overview, you can click on check name server again. Now, since when you click on check name server, it is if it is not done, you need to wait just as Cloudflare has recommended. You need to wait for a few hours. For the changes to be done, for the name servers to be proper, to be globally propagated, right? So when it is done, you can come back. When you, when you wait for some hours, you can come back to this page, to the overview of your Cloudflare account, and then you click on check name servers again. And then we will come back some hours after, or maybe an hour after, to check to check if the DNS has been globally propagated.